Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be sitting here and filming this video that you know what, it's not a tutorial. As you already probably understood by the title of this video, this is me sharing with you my current makeup wish list. I was inspired to do this video after watching the YouTube collab videos of Sarah Hubler and Mandy Lee, and I just wanted to, you know, jump on it and do this tag with you too. If you're a first timer here, then welcome, welcome, it's great to have you here. And now that we're past all this formality, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll get notified every Friday at 10 a.m. when I upload a brand new video. Okay, so makeup wish list. How fun! Let's see what we have here. Hmm. Okay, number one, oldest product on your wish list. That's an easy one. The Kat Von D Light and Shade Palette. For some reason, I don't have this palette. I don't know why. Every time I walk into Sephora, I'm going to check. Is it on sale? Is it still there? I don't know. It's been on my wish list ever since I started doing makeup, I think. And I'm not quite sure why. I think that when I started to do makeup, I was kind of mentored by this makeup artist, the sweetest girl alive. And I consulted with her which palette I should buy for bronzing and contour. And she recommended me another palette. I don't remember which one. Obviously, I wasn't really impressed by it, so I ended up not getting the Kat Von D palette, but every time that I think of maybe I should buy a new bronzing or contour product, that always pops into mind, and I'm telling you, I don't know why I don't get it. I just don't. Next up is number two, the newest product on your wish list. Okay, so there are many, many new products that are on my wish list. But I think the most interesting one and the most likely that I'll get it is the VC Art April Spritz eyeshadow palette. VC Art palettes are known to be really, really good. They're really high quality. I know some YouTubers that use that and recommend it all the time. The thing is that with me, the standard for getting a new palette is really, really high. Because I'm getting a palette, I'm not getting only one pan. And I want to make sure that most of the colors, most of the shades in that palette are going to work out for me and I'm going to make the most of the palette itself. And when I look at this palette, it's really pretty and it's right up my alley. I mean, the bronzes, the peach tones, the burgundy, the browns, they're really, you know, what I love in a palette. But still, I'm looking at it and I see that most of the shades, I have them in my collection, even if not in one palette, but I do have the shades. And I don't care switching palettes while I work, either on myself or with a client. So I don't know, I really like this palette, but I need to think about it. Fair? I think it's fair. We'll see. Number three is which this product you keep forgetting about. Okay, so I had to think about it for quite some time, but I think that I'll have to go with the Fenty Glass Bomb Universal Lip Luminizer in Fenty Glow. Supposedly, this is the lip gloss that will work for everybody, and I've seen it on several people, and I loved it. However, and the reason I didn't get it is that I'm not a fan of lip glosses on me. Ever since that time that, you know, you drive in your car with the windows down and you have lip gloss and your hair gets stuck in your lips all the time, I just can't... I don't like lip glosses. I don't know. I haven't tried it and maybe it's a lip gloss that is not too sticky. I want to think that nowadays lip glosses are not so gooey. But I don't know, I need to check it out. Anyway, though I do love a good moisturizing, hydrating, and shiny lipstick, glosses are not exactly my thing, but every now and then I think of that lip gloss and I say, hmm, should I buy it? I really want to, but I don't know if I'll get any use of it. We'll see. Number four, product you are glad you removed from your wish list. If you've been watching other videos of mine, you know that I have a complicated relationship with my eyebrows and I'm always looking for something that will make it easier for me and tolerable for me to do them every time I do my makeup. And when Milk came out with this brow pen of theirs with three you know, bristles, or I don't know how to call it, like three pens, I was really excited and I thought, oh my god, yes, if Milk did it, it's probably good. But when I went on the Sephora website, I looked at the reviews and man, 
That brow pen is butchered. I mean, it got only two and a half stars, you know? So I removed that from my wishlist. I was really excited about it, but I'm not gonna buy it, even though I'm really interested in trying it for myself. But I think I can use my money on a better product. Number five, wishlist item that you can't get by you. So as you know, I live in the US, so most of the products that I know and I want are attainable. I can get them here. However, there is a brand from Israel created by a makeup artist named Yana Proviz that I don't know personally, but I love her work. She has a YouTube channel and she, she's awesome. So she created this creme de la creme eyeliner line. And basically it's like a cream, but you can also use it in an eyeshadow and the colors are just magnificent and they're just, you know, calling my name. And yes, I can order them online, but you know, especially when I don't know a brand and I want to get familiarized with it, I want to go in the store, swatch it, feel the product on my hands and then make the decision. So though I can't do that right now, I'll probably pop in one of her stores when I get back to Israel, you know, on my next visit, and I'll let you know. Number six, product on your wish list you'll probably never buy. To be honest, probably most of my wish list are products that I'm never gonna buy, but if I'll have to choose one, it will be the Charlotte, the Char Charlotte Tilbury, the Hollywood Contour, blah, blah, blah. The Charlotte Tilbury, la, 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 la. Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. Yes. So here's the thing. I'm always looking for a better option for bronzing slash contouring. I would love to find a product that do kind of both. That is not really cool, not really warm, that suits my skin tone. It's really difficult. <laughs> But anyway, as of lately, I really like to use foundations for contouring and bronzing just because I have them. I'm a makeup artist. I work with a lot of clients, so I have a range of colors. So for me, it makes sense to use a lightweight foundation to do my own bronzing slash contouring. I love using the liquid formula. I have the shades that I need right now. And, you know, I just can't find a good enough reason to go and buy a wand that I can use just for that. And just for me, or maybe someone in my skin tone, it just doesn't make sense, you know? If I'm already using a liquid formula, why use something special when you have this array of products in your collection that you can use? Plus, it's $38, and given the fact that I'll probably, I'll probably love it, but I don't really need it, so I don't think I'm gonna get it. Number seven, wishlist product that you'll probably buy next. I don't know. It will probably be either the Glossier brow pen for previously mentioned reasons, or it will be the It Cosmetics CC cream because I am so intrigued by trying a CC cream that is full coverage. I've never tried before. And this is quite an old product on my wish list. Of course, this has been launched for, I don't, I don't know, I think it launched over two years ago, but ever since I'm just, mm, I want to try it. So, Maybe that's what I'm gonna get next because to be honest, I have, I don't have a lot of full coverage foundations and I think it's time for a renewal. Number eight, a wishlist item that you added from watching YouTube. So I'm not sure you can get this at Sephora or Ulta. I'm pretty sure you can't, but I'm talking about the P. Louise eye primer or P. Louise eyeshadow base. And I've watched many YouTubers rave about this primer. And though I usually don't use eye primer, I usually just run my makeup brush on my lids and set it with a powder or even use something very basic like the NYX eyeshadow base. I'm really intrigued to try this one because it's so raved about by artists that are so know what they're talking about. So I don't know, I'm interested and it's not a lot of money to where I, you know, I'm very reluctant to, to buy something that I don't need. I can, I can afford that. I think I can afford that and I'm really interested and I don't know. I'll, I'll let you know if I decide to get it. Number nine, most affordable item on your wish list. And that would probably be the ColourPop mascaras. And it's really funny because I just uploaded a video, a DIY how to make your own mascara at home from your eyeshadows. But I don't know. There was something about just the, you know, easiness of just 
something colorful and beautiful and I just love it and Colourpop is so affordable that you want to try just try it and it won't be such a big deal. Each mascara is like eight bucks so it's no-brainer really. The only thing is that it's only eight dollars but it's still eight dollars and I know me and once I get online it won't stop at one mascara. It will be red and then the green and then I'll see the yellow and the purple and I'll end up buying every mascara so no. <laughs> but that for sure is a makeup wish list item that I want to get my hands on and I might I might do that at some point. And of course that number 10 is the most expensive item on my wish list. And yes I can talk about the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette and the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette but the thing is that it's just something that I can afford right now, and yeah, no, mm, mm -mm. I'm not even going to talk about it. So to get back to talking about what we're supposed to be talking about, the most expensive item on my wish list is the Chanel Les Beige Bronzing Cream. And this is the most expensive item on my wish list because it's a bronzer for $50, which is quite high for one product, but it looks amazing. And it's a cream formula. So for me, it's all in one. That's definitely the most expensive product I have on my wish list. So I don't think I'm gonna get it anytime soon, but time will tell. That wraps it up. 10 questions, 10 tags, my current wish list. A special thanks to Sarah Hubler and Mendeley for coming up with these questions. I had a really good time filming this and thinking of all the, you know, my choices, and I hope you did too. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, I'll add the tags down below in the description box, so please join the party and let me know what are your favorite wishlist products. Thank you so much for watching, and I think that's it. I'll see you next Friday at 10am, okay? Bye!